What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Luciano TV, where we bring forth pure effortless entertainment. I am Lucky Lou, and this is Kelly Jean. Make sure you stay tuned. Hit the like button. And don't be a hater all your life, man. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit the little bell to get notified every time we upload a new video, man. You need these positive vibes in your life. Good vibes. Here in Houston, Texas, it's looking like 91 degrees out here. We about to turn it up. The 90 day challenge has begun. We'll go eat big steak, lobster, whatever you want, baby. But uh, I've been reading this book, How to Manage Your Finances, and I've been doing it all wrong. I never had a budget. I've never budgeted my money. I just spend money as it comes. And man, this book is really an eye opener to how much money I've been throwing away. Babe has literally been stuck on this book. He literally wakes up reading the book, goes to sleep reading the book. That's okay. the only quiet time I have in the house. All the other time is loud, so I have to wait till everybody goes to sleep, and then I read it, and then early in the morning I wake up before everybody wakes up, I read it. When I'm done with the book, I'ma lay y'all up, and I'ma let y'all know how much money I saved at the end of this month. I'ma let y'all know how much money I saved by not going out to eat and only spending on what is in my budget. There's an app called, uh, I think it's called Every Dollar. And so you make that, make your monthly budget for all your bills. You have your. This is not a sponsor. I'm not sponsoring that. No, I'm telling you. Well, oh, hold on, man. We're supposed to get some tacos. No. <laughs> I seen the tacos. I seen the taco stand just opened up right there. I was like, hold on, man. The tacos caught my eye. Ah, I guess we'll go home and eat some eggs and sausage or something, man. Anyway, there's a little app I got on my phone. You put the bu your monthly budget, how much money you make, and then how much money you're gonna spend on your bills, gas, or going to restaurants, Basically or all your, your entertainment. I know you can put your, your budget for entertainment, but say you have an entertainment budget of $300. My inter entertainment, we were spending more like $3,000. You know what I'm saying? So we are way over budget. So now this month, I'm gonna follow the plan, stick to my budget, and I'm gonna let y'all know how much money I save at the end of the month. Y'all, so we have just arrived home from running our little errands. And y'all, I have to wash dishes all over again. Anyways, I'm hungry, so babe, can you hook me up with some breakfast? Yeah, as long as you wash the pan. I will. Teamwork make the dream work. Where's my little spatula? I got the ham, I got the cheese. I got the tomatoes. If you're gonna buy some tortillas from the store, get these right here. They raw. Raw tortillas, not that pre-cooked, raw. And then you gotta cook them. Tacos. Kingston, come get your taco before it get cold. Why are you recording me? Cause we vlog day, baby. All right, y'all, so I'm finally sitting down to eat and I just wanted to review his tacos. They are bomb AF. Thanks, babe. They're delicious, you guys. He put like little tomatoes in it. Kingston just said he likes mine better. Why? Mm, I don't know. I'm still winning. So we're waiting on all of our kids to actually get ready, take a shower, wake up, so we can go to the grocery store. I think we're gonna have to buy paper plates because the struggle is real having to wash all the dishes, especially now that we're trying to like eat at home and not going out to eat. So we're gonna go buy some paper plates. We're gonna eat them. We're trying to, you gotta, you gotta, uh, excuse me. You gotta trim the fat off your spending habits. 
Preach. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing right now. We trimming the fat off of our spinning habits. It's not hard for me because as y'all know, I'm like on the more simple, humble side. As for Lucky, he's like used to- I know it's my fault, but it's all good. I'm, a, I'm The fancy, it. expensive stuff. Cheers to eating at home. Quick reminder, don't forget the whole month of August, 25% off on LucianoTV.com. Promo code is LucianoTV. So y'all take advantage of that. Go and get your little 25% discount, man. I'm trying to hook you up. So I am currently trying to fold some shirts and pack them neatly. That way, when your order comes through, we can just grab it and ship it right away. So um, the link is always in the description, littlechannelTV.com. Make sure you go and click on it right now. Y'all type in the comments and let me know what grade are y'all going to next year. Huge shout out to everybody that's in college. Huge shout out to everybody that takes their education seriously. Man, let me tell y'all something about college. Y'all wanna know something? In this generation and day and age, you really don't need college. With the internet, anybody could be an entrepreneur and work from home, work for yourself. And did you ever think about how the banks will give an 18-year-old kid a $100,000 loan for college, but won't give them a $25,000 loan to start a business? People go to college for four years. And then they work the rest of their life trying to pay back that student loan and pay back their house mortgage. They in debt. The whole country's in debt. You got to get up out of debt, man. I mean, that's right. But at the same time, if you are in college, don't let that discourage you. Make sure that you chase your dreams. Make sure that, you know what I'm saying? You get your education, your education. It's a bunch of hogwash. I have student loans that I have to pay back myself, so I'm not judging or whatnot. But just to tap into what he just said, honestly, it is so true. I went to school. I got my certification as a medical assistant. I started working in the medical field, and honestly, I was just not happy. I wasn't content working for somebody else, especially a doctor that, you know what I'm saying, like was just rude all the damn time. Uh, Yeah. I have student loans that I have to pay back and I'm not even working in that field no more. Not saying that I could not go back, which is a good thing to have it to back me up in case of anything. But really, there was people that I was working there that don't have a certification, never went to school. They just got hired and basically experience is all you really need. So if you're looking into, you know what I'm saying, branching out, starting your own business, doing whatever you want to do, put your mind to it, learn a couple things and you're going to mess up every now and then. But that is experience, my friends. That is what gets you to the next level. You got to have the entrepreneurial spirit, man. Get out there and get it yourself. Don't get up in debt. Don't get yourself in debt, man. Those those 30 year home mortgages, man. Those those days is in the past, man. That's old. That's old people stuff, man. Don't don't fall for that no more, man. Y'all need to stop that. On a house that you probably ain't even going to want to live in in 30 years, man. Stop that. Just cut it out, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn you, man. I'm still learning myself. That's why I'm reading every day. I'm trying to read and trying to fatten up my brain. You got to put some fat on your brain, man. <laughs> so quick update. Houston is walking more, but he's not like walking all the way. He'll like walk a pretty good distance and then he'll like fall and go straight into crawling. So he's almost there. He's already a year and a month, so. He needs to get to it because he's heavy, you guys. Anybody that's carried Houston knows that he's a solid little baby. I low-key have to take him to his one-year um, doctor's appointment. We actually forgot to take him the day that it was set. So now I have to call and I have to make another appointment. What a responsible parent. It happens. <laughs> so I walk up in the room and like he's talking about I wanted to pull a burrito. We're on a 30-day no going out Man, to I'm gonna get skinny, challenge. Boy. I, this is going to make me skinny. Well, so, the thing is, I didn't realize how hard it was going to be to eat at home breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I'm saying? I actually just put some sausages in the oven so, you know, they can eat with bread and ketchup and mustard. Are you a mustard or a mayo person? Like he's a mustard. I'm a mayo. I don't like mustard. He don't like mayo. Type in the comments below and let me know. What type of person are you? Mustard versus mayo. Man, I need a call Chipotle, DoorDash. Uh, we said no restaurants. Does that include fast food restaurants? Yes. Ah! 
Stop right there, honey. He came up with this challenge. I think I was so talking about now like, he's like, gonna have to deal with it. No going out to eat. I was talking about like sit down restaurants. I don't want to hear it. What about Domino's Pizza? <laughs> it's funny though because any other day he hates Domino's, but the temptation is real. Chipotle is out the door. No going out to eat. Day two. Can you do it? We shall well, no, see. Well, we actually got a head start because it's August 7th and we're going to the last weekend of August. So really, we only got like... No, baby. You said days. 30 days, baby. No, man. No, man. We got an end of the month challenge. We're going to go to the last weekend of August. No, baby. We baby my stomach is growling. <laughs> Y'all, let's go see what the sausage is looking like. I literally just put it in there, so I know it still needs some time. But um, I'm going to feed him a little something. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, man. 30 days of this paper plates and sausage sandwiches. Leah ain't doing no tripping. I ate some. Have you given this video a huge thumbs up? Are you subscribed? Have you turned on your post notifications? Smash that like button. Well, if you haven't, I'm waiting on you. Go ahead and do it right now. And do it all three in combination. Combination? Combinate. Do it. Babe, don't put that, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to thug it out, though, man, because I done made a bet with my boy Victor Fuentes. He say if I lose, I got to give him free merch. And, you know, I don't like giving out free merch, man. So, now, he say he want a 3X, a 2X, a large, and a small for his English Bulldog Daisy. No, man, I ain't going to be able to do it, man. We know restaurants 30 days for the rest of the month of August. Let me be clear. Not 30 days, the rest of the month of August. Last weekend of August, I'm going to go eat big. All right, but before I get to cooking, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Roxy Emily Perez because she actually said that my words motivated her and encouraged her. Make sure you bring positive vibes to everybody around you. Love on everybody. There's too much hate out here in the world already for you to be negative, to you to be for you to be ugly, for you to be, you know, just hateful towards other people. So let's just shed light onto the world. I am about to make pork chops. I am about to make um, potatoes and corn as a side, so. I just want to give a shout out to myself for sticking to the script and not spending no money today. Any other day, I would have either went to go eat breakfast somewhere or lunch somewhere, if not both, and then probably would have made dinner at home. But I know I would have at least went to one restaurant today, and I didn't. So, shout out to Kelly Jean for whipping it up in the kitchen. And I just got my food. Y'all ready for this? Smoking. I need a fork and a knife. All right, y'all. So I am done with the food. Like I said, I make these already pre-seasoned pork chops. They're boneless, so they should be soft and tender. Tell them how you make the potatoes. These uh, butter, uh, buttered up potatoes. Put them in the oven with a little bit of water, a little bit of butter. Whip some, butter. Uh, yeah, some whipped salted butter, and then I put uh, water oil, butter, salt, lemon pepper, and a little bit of Cajun seasoning. And then obviously corn is just like, you just gotta heat it up, but I always add butter to it. And here it is, our dinner. We're actually gonna eat, oh, we're actually trying to eat before the kids uh, find out that the food is ready. That way we can have a chill little dinner. In peace. In peace. So I really hope y'all had a great day today. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. I with a running nose. Now nah, I'll be damned if my money falls. On a million dollar mission, I don't like being broke. I ain't getting no service out here on the boat. Sex fit that where I bought my clothes. Tell them to cash me top coat. But it is rapping, brought me G's. Putting my money in properties. Financial freedom, my only goal. Not an IRS wanna audit me. I I'm a freestyle prodigy. I think I failed biology. Wasn't done, just didn't go. I was out here getting my cottage cheese. Bitch, please, I've been dope. That's why I live around rich folks. To these 
rappers, I'm big bro, my wrist glow like disco.